I'm going to give you a key and I'm going to reveal to you a mystery right now. If you are an unbeliever, if you are proud, if you've been rejecting God, you may want to listen right now. If you've never listened before, you might want to listen right now because I'm going to reveal to you something. Then Jesus, overflowing with Holy Spirit's joy, exclaimed, Father, thank you for you are Lord supreme over heaven and earth. You have hidden the great revelation of this authority from those who are proud. I hope the proud, I hope the unbelieving is listening right now. I hope you're listening and I hope that you humble yourself so that you can hear this because otherwise you still won't hear it because literally this word says that. It says, you, Father, have, have hidden the great revelation of this authority from those who are proud, those wise in their own eyes, those who lean on their own understanding, and you have shared it with these who humble themselves. So I'm telling you right now, if you want the, the blessings of God and the favor of God and the power of God and the authority of God, humble yourselves. Receive the message of the good news. Receive the message of the gospel. Because he shares all his blessings and his mysteries with those who humble themselves. Yes, Father, this is what pleases your heart to give these things to those who are like trusting children. Jesus said, just believe like a child. But y'all just big shots out there, all just so proud and, and prove it, prove it, prove it. Make it make sense. Prove God is real. No, he says, just believe like a child. Come to me like a child and I will give you these things. I will give you these gifts. I will open up my mysteries. I will give you the keys. I will give you power and authority. Yeah, that's who gets it. Those who humble themselves. Hallelujah. Those are the ones that get to walk in the blessings and favor. Thank you, God, for that. Father, you have entrusted me with all that you have. No one fully knows the Son except for the Father, and no one fully knows the Father except the Son. But the Son is able to reveal the Father to anyone he chooses. There are benefits. There is life and freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And I can tell you that I was set free when I just humbled myself and I received the word. The word is the truth. He says, I am the way. Remember I said, there's only one way to the father that's through the son. He says, I am the truth and the truth sets you free. Whom the son sets free is free indeed. And I am the life. I was taken from spiritual death to life. And now all these benefits and mysteries and blessings are opened up to me. And I walk in power, in authority, through sonship. And my name is in the Lamb's book of life. My name is there and I know it's there. See, people can know it. So many people always say, I hope. I hope I get to heaven. I hope I make it. I hope I don't go to hell. You know what? You shouldn't just hope. You should know. And the way you know is because you, uh, you have the hope of glory. You have the hope of glory. See, I don't question. I know. I know. Because he is the hope of glory. And I have received him by faith. I have confessed that he is Lord. I have been born again. And I have been filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, there is God the Father who sits in the throne room and there is Jesus Christ, 
the son who sits at his right side, who intercedes to the father for us. And there is the Holy Spirit that is here on earth in and through the sons of God. That is God here on the earth. That is his spirit that has been given to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you for this word today. Lord God, I ask you to put your anointing, anointing on it, Lord God. I pray that it falls on fertile ground. I pray it's a seed that lands on fertile ground and that it grows, Lord God. And that the 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 harsh weather and the weeds and the things of this world and the doctrines of devils don't blow it away. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. Thank you, Jesus.